Alright, so welcome back. This is what we have from the last video. And now we are gonna create the switch mode toggle right here. I'm gonna create that. And basically what we need to do is add another element in here. So let's put under div in here, but just still inside a section. Let's say container. And inside in here, let's say team dash switch dash uh, say wrapper. Let's say team. Okay. And let's create a label and uh, should be checkbox. And let's give a class, say team dash switch sweet. There we go. And um, yeah, give an input in here, and the input it should be checkbox UID. And say checkbox. Okay, so let's create uh, another div inside a uh, label. So it should be slider, slider, and um, round, round. Okay, so now save, and this is what we have okay so let's just styling this and make that look awesome so scroll down something like that and let's comment say check checkbox and the first is let's uh, select the theme switch wrapper and what we are going to do is make the margin top to something like 3 RAM and say display say display flex set the align items to center save and uh, if, if you uh, confusing about where is the theme exactly is you can add a background this is how I am uh, play around with a CSS because uh, something is so really hard uh, to styling with CSS because uh, you, you cannot see that okay so my trick is just give a background so you can see where the position you want to styling okay for example, let's say background red, so we can see the theme switch wrapper. It should be uh, start from here until in here because we wrap in the container. Oh yeah, we need to add text uh, under the label. So em should be switch mode. Okay, let's make that uppercase. So now we have a switch mode in here. Okay, so let's styling the theme wrapper and em. So let's give a margin left to push the text to the right side. Let's just say 10 pixel to give a space between the toggle and the text. And let's change the size to where is font size let's say one ram okay so save and let's see what we have here we go let's select the 
themed switch and we are gonna give a width to something like 16 pixel and give a height to something like 34 pixel and yeah if, if it's just a uh, confusing but where is the theme switch you can say background yellow and now you can see this is the theme switch okay and we get we, we set the width and the height right makes sense so now let's styling the input which is the this right here okay say theme switch input we are set the display to none okay should be gone so now let's grab the slider and we need to give a background to ccc and let's change the position to uh, absolute if you set the absolute you need to set the relative in this theme switch because we don't we need to the slider just inside uh the theme suite which is the inside a uh, yellow color in there so say position relative thank you emmet and let's see button bottom zero left zero and i say right zero and top zero now it should be absolutely this uh, color because we set everything zero which is uh, the same like we did it do with 100% and the hake 100% uh, thanks to the cursor whenever we hover this uh, slider we need to change the cursor to pointer and yeah that's it here we go so let's create a slider we're gonna using pseudo element to create that so let's give a content to empty position to uh, absolute and wait what happened in here let's give a background to white say bottom to four pixel four pixel and left say four pixel and let's give a hake to something like 26 pixel and what happened in here say hake hake come on man to 26 pixel and of course we need to set the width to 26 pixel as well need to do something in here so input check okay if if the input is checked we need to do uh, something with the slider okay let's do a background to 6666 bb 6 uh, okay so save and let's take a look here we go as you can see the color is changing when I when when the text box is active okay so we need to do something so input check and we need to do something with the before slider which is uh, this white 
right here. Say transform transform and we are gonna do is translate x is a 26 pixel now save and let's see when we do this all right but we need to add transition all right so in here let's create a transition and say all is just say uh, 0 0.4 second so now it should be look like that all right so now we need to make this rounded this uh box white right here so let's do slider round and let's give a border radius to 3d4 pixel save and let's see let's not do anything let's see i'm wrong typing border so let's see here we go let's remove the yellow color where is i put the yellow color um just remove this and the red color in here as well save and here we go let's make it the the you know the box in here to round it as well so slider round before say border radius 50 percent here we go now we have the toggle so pretty pretty cool right yeah i think that's it for this video and next we are gonna make this um desktop version look nice because now it should it's look it's look kind of weird you're gonna make something like this okay so i'm gonna see you in the next video and again bye